Hello and welcome to Newsmaker of the Week, where we will present you a descriptive story of top headlines of the week. Let's start with the COVID-19 updates. We have average spike of 12,000 to 15,000 cases per day. The total number of infections are over 4.4 thousand with nearly 2.5 lakh recoveries and 14,000 deaths. Telangana recently increased the testing and is seeing the increase in the number of cases. Maharashtra has the most infected cases whereas Delhi has now overtaken Tamil Nadu to become the second worstly affected state in the country. In the midst of sadness and in the rise of casualties, we have the positive news coming in where in the recovery of coronavirus as in the case of little girl Ironica. She was admitted in a private hospital along with the father in Noida. There would have been a tough situation if not cured properly. The doctors and nurses are doing their level best to treat, care and pamper the little girl Ironica, who is just one and a half year old. In the addition to that, her parents got recovered from coronavirus. It's been three weeks and she has not made her mother who have recovered from COVID-19. It was a difficult situation for her to keep in a confined room. She has often run away, but all the credit goes to the doctor, nurses and her father. His father is doing his level best to keep her safe and to help her as much as possible. She has won the hearts of all the doctors and nurses in just four to five days. In the midst of the coronavirus cases rising, the yoga guru Ramdeo Baba has said that he has a cure for COVID-19. Yes, on Tuesday, Patanjali launched its first ever coronal kit, price Rs 545, saying that it treats the COVID-19 patient in the time span of seven days. The chief executive officer of Patanjali, Bala, Balakrishna, has said that uh, it maintains a balance between the respiratory system of the body and increases the immune system of the body. But there seems a problem coming in the way of Patanjali when Yoga Guru Baba Ramdeo said that a clinical test was held where 69% of the patients were treated in three days and 100% of the patients were treated in uh, 10 days. The Ayush ministry has said Patanjali is not supposed to advertise or sell any of those coronal kit until it is approved by the Ayush ministry. The union of the Ayush ministry, Sri Padnayak, said that the, it will bring its sentence soon on the coronal kit. Let us now head towards a follow-up story of Sephora wherein the latest update is that Safora Zerger, a student of Jamia Mila University, who is now five months pregnant, was arrested under an anti-terror law in a case related to Delhi violence this year, was granted bail on 23rd of June after the police withdrew its objection on humanitarian ground. She was arrested on conspiracy charge over the riots that broke out in February during the protest against the Citizenship Amendment Act. Safora was arrested for allegedly obstructing a road on Zafrabad metro station, but later she was charged under the Draconian Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. The Delhi High Court on Tuesday said Safora to not get involved in activities that may hamper the investigation. She also cannot leave Delhi without permission. Safora has to stay in touch with the investigation officer on phone uh, once in 15 days and also furnish a personal bond of rupees 10,000. Safora Zargar's husband said, we are thankful to the court. We also thank our lawyers for their effort. The family is eagerly looking forward to meet her. Let us now shift our focus to another top story of the week. That is the Russia visit of uh, Indian Defense Minister. Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh paid a three-day visit to the Russian capital Moscow to attend its 75th Victory Day Parade. It is a first foreign visit of an official delegation from India after the COVID pandemic. Terming it as a sign of friendship, Mr. Singh said that despite all other problems, the bilateral relations between Delhi and Moscow have been keeping in good terms at the various levels. During his meeting with the Russian Deputy Prime Minister Yuri Borisov, the Indo-Russian Defense Corporation was reviewed and the plan to extend it further was also discussed, to which the Indian proposals have received a very positive response from the Russian side. Our Defense Minister Russia visit also holds a very great significance in the early procurement of S-400 anti-missile system to India. 
He also remembered the Indian soldiers who sacrificed their lives on the Second World War and provided the assistance to the Soviet Army. Moving forward to another story, the breaking news is from the educational field. CBSE will not conduct the class 10th examination, while the student of class 12 will be given an option of appearing exams after the conditions are conducted. The Solicitor General told the Supreme Court on Thursday, the class 12 student will get options to appear in exams or to give assessment based on past three examinations. The assessment result will be out by 15th of July. The center will realize a proper scheme of internal assessment by Friday. The matter has been adjourned to June 26th. Talking about the scheme, Supreme Court pointed out the scheme should clearly spell out that assessment will be based on admission into future courses, time frame to access whether conditions are conductive, the decision to help such examination in future to be taken at central level and not left to the status. Presenting to you the last headline that we have for you in this episode of Newsmaker of the Week is about the Rath Yatra that takes place every year. The Supreme Court on 22nd of June announced that the grand and historic Rath Yatra will take place but this time with major restrictions due to the pandemic. The two of the major restrictions are number one, the public will not be allowed to witness this grand expedition. Along with that, the people pushing and pulling the chariot will have to follow social distancing norms. The police will have to be vigilant on the same. The bench headed by Chief Justice S.A. Bobde also directed the state government that curfew will have to be imposed in the city as and when the chariot procession is taking place. With that, we come to the end. But before we bid you adieu, let me remind to you that Esperanza, the biggest e-media fest, is going live on 29th and 30th of this month. That is just two days away. So get yourself registered. The link is given in the description box below. Trust me, you would not want to miss this chance of interacting with the who's who of the industry. So get yourself registered as soon as possible and stay tuned with Inspira TV for more updates.